again. So this is going to be a tutorial on making objects ready to 3D print. And all the description or all the links to the softwares that I'm using will be in the description below. So the 3D designing program that I'll be using is Google SketchUp. And uh, Google SketchUp does not have an export or import function for STL files. And that's what you need to uh, bring that's the type of file you need to bring into your slicing program so that you can slice it and then uh, send it to print to your 3D printer. So I am using uh, two plugins. The first plugin I'm using is an uh, STL uh, importer plugin, and that's so if you uh, find any files on Thingiverse and you want to tweak the objects, you can use this to bring it into SketchUp and change it. And then the and the one that I'll be showing is uh, this plugin, which uh, makes it so you can export STL files with SketchUp. And then if you don't want to do that, you don't want to put a plugin, then you can use uh, MeshLab. And you can use this for other uh, 3D programs that don't export to STL files. And all you'd be using this for is uh, exporting your 3D image or 3D object into an ST STL file. And then the last software that you will use is uh, NetFab. And all you need is the NetFab Studio, it's a free download, and you'll use that to clean up your three objects so that your slicing program can slice it correctly. Alright, so I'll be opening up a f SketchUp file, and uh, you, I, it's recommended to use uh, the product design and woodworking uh, template. And then once you have your three objects complete, you want to double click it, or make sure it's all selected, and then make it a group. And then under tools is that STL file export. Put it in the correct unit, and then STL file, and then choose where you want to save it. Okay, so then here's the file. I already have NetFab installed, so it recognizes this STL file. So I just have to double click it. And then in NetFab, all you have to do is press the repair button, automatic repair, execute, and apply repair. Okay, and then you want to save that, so export as an STL file. And I'm going to save it to the desktop, and then press OK and you're done with NetFab. So then here's the same file, but now it's repaired. And now I'll bring up my skinning software, and I'm going to be using Slicer. So now all I have to do is press Slice, and choose the repaired file. And that'll take about a minute to process. So once your slicing program is done, uh, you can, it translated that STL file into the G code. I'll be bringing up the prompt interface and loading the G code file. And then here is your file. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just leave a comment below. And thank you for watching.